Hey guys, this is Aditya here again for Tilted Technology and today I have episode 2 of what's on my iPhone. Uh, now to start it off, uh, I am still using my white 16 gigabyte iPhone 4. Uh, this is a factory unlocked model but I do have a green bricks and color shield on it uh, which gives it this nice green appearance. Uh, also it does have a built in matte screen protector which I really do like the feel of uh, and so that's uh, what that's about. Now anyway, this device uh, is running stock iOS uh, 6.1.3. Uh, I have not just broken my phone because an iPhone 4 does generally tend to slow down uh, after being jailbroken and if you start installing themes and things like that. So as you guys can see here, uh, iOS 6.1.3, uh, no tweaks, nothing like that. Uh, everything's all just stock. Uh, let me just turn down the brightness here a little bit so that you guys uh, can see a little better. Um, yeah. So uh, to start off here on my main page uh, or my first springboard page rather, I do have uh, some basic applications. Uh, now I do have messages, speed test, photos and camera, uh, some very generic stuff besides for speed test of course, which is from the App Store, uh, which is uh, a device that tests your internet connection speed, uh, whether you're on an Edge, uh, 3G, Wi-Fi, 4G, LTE, etc. Now underneath that I do have uh, videos, Facebook, YouTube and Notes, uh, again very simple stuff. Uh, then I do have Clock, Flipboard, App Store, and Settings. Now Flipboard is a very, very nice, uh, well and easy to use uh, created um, news reader. It does also incorporate well uh, with Twitter and Facebook. It lets you put all your stories in this really nice grid format. Um, I don't really want to sign into my account right now, but this is a really nice application. It is free in the App Store and I would definitely recommend it. It is also now available on Android. Uh, now underneath that, I do have uh, Google Drive, The Verge, Newsstand, and Instagram. Um, these are all pretty much generic applications, uh, very general applications rather. The Verge is a technology blog online and Google Drive is kind of like Dropbox, but it integrates well with Google Docs, etc., etc., uh, which is why I like using it over uh, Dropbox. Now, here in my doc, uh, I have pretty much all just the generic doc applications for the iPhone, which include phone, uh, Safari, music, and mail. Um, pretty simple stuff. Uh, I am thinking of switching to something else for my mail clients, such as Mailbox, but I'm going to wait a little while and see if I really want to. Now on my second page here, I do have uh, some folders. My first one is a utilities folder, which contains all my utilitarian applications. You guys can pause the video here if you would like to go uh, through these applications. Uh, on the next page, I do have my social applications. Feel free to do the same here uh, in terms of pausing uh, the video to check out um, my social apps. Uh, I do, they do include WhatsApp, Twitter, Vine, Skype, etc. Uh, on my games page, uh, uh, I do have a few games uh, yet again uh, please do feel free to pause the video at any time if you guys would like to check out any of these applications uh, and finally I have a folder called barely used which just has um, well the title can tell you my barely used applications uh, now that is pretty much about it for this video guys I don't really uh, I don't think I had too much going on here um, but that is uh, pretty much about it for this video guys I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did it would be awesome if you guys could leave this video a thumbs up by hitting the little um, thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video also for more uh, tutorials unboxings reviews uh, well probably not unboxings but uh, reviews etc please do remember to go check out my channel um, you can click on my channel name or just um, you know type in uh, filter technology uh, in your YouTube search bar. Uh, also, if you guys would like to check out my main YouTube channel, which contains everything from unboxings to reviews to tutorials and everything in between, please do go and check out Tech Geek HD, the link to which is in the description below. Uh, now again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, also, uh, happy 1st of April and April Fool's Day. I didn't really think I'd come up with much since I did just start my channel. Maybe next year. Again, thanks for watching uh, and have a great day. Bye.